Um, guys, this is very, very cool. August 6th, Madison Square Garden. Um, Jake Paul is getting in the ring with Haseem Rahman Jr. His first matchup against a uh, a boxer, a full-time boxer. It is a huge situation for Jake Paul. And also, uh, over the next week, I'm going to be giving away, Don, chances to go watch the fight with me at Madison Square Garden. Um, and I will be there. And, Jake, I'll tell you what, you're a big part of the last boxing experience I had, which was incredible, in Taylor Serrano. Congratulations on that. Thank you, man. Thank you for having me. That was an electric night, man. That was such a movie. That, I think that's the loudest I've ever heard, Madison Square Garden. Were you even surprised like, at how big the reception was and how many Irish people seemed to make the trip for that fight? I was surprised, and I wasn't surprised. You know, um, I think it's amazing. It, it broke so many records for women's boxing, uh, but that is such a legendary fight and two of the pound-for-pound -pound best going at it, so I knew it was going to be electric. And now Amanda Serrano is back August 6th, dual headlining, um, and putting on and representing again once again for the city of New York. Um, so everyone get your tickets, msg.com. Mm. Pull up. Be there. <laughs> this man knows how to promote, Don. And I, I want to – one more thing, Don. Um, I, I've been meaning to ask you this. Have people in boxing circles – started talking to you differently yet because like jake i just know my own personal feelings and i remember feeling like cause i'm a bit of an old school boxing head huge mike tyson fan you came along i'm like jake paul what what is this and i've i've evolved to now i'm like wow this guy's actually really contributing to this sport and bringing a lot of money in have you noticed in boxing circles and rooms that people have started to address you with a little bit more respect yeah, for sure. You know, and and thank you as well for for saying that. And you know, the people in boxing are starting to see the good I'm doing for this sport, and that's all I wanted to do since day one is bring more fans, bring more eyeballs, bring more attention to this beautiful sport, um, and to reinvigorate it. I think for the longest time, MMA. And the UFC was taking over boxing. No one really was talking about boxing. And now, boxing is on fire. No one's watching UFC. <laughs> MMA is dying. It's boring. It's becoming, it's literally becoming boxing. The last UFC event, two weekends ago, there was not a single takedown the whole entire event. So quite literally, MMA is becoming boxing. Mm. Um, so... It's just really cool to see what's happened, and I just want to continue to make boxing great again. <laughs> and and I'm, looking, I'm looking at the press release for the fight you know, coming up with Rachman Jr., and, and you're quoted in saying he's going to get beat by a singer, a musician, a seashell collector, a YouTuber, um, all these things. Yes, our television network for this interview, Jake, has flaunted you as boxer and social media personality. Do you want to get to be just Jake Paul the boxer, or do you want boxing to always just be a part of everything you are? Boxing will just always be a part of everything I am. You know, I don't need to box, um, and I'm much more than just boxing, uh, much bigger than just boxing, and I think that's the beauty of it. Um, but I've always done a bunch of different things, and I've always been very diverse. Uh, so... I will get more and more serious in the boxing. I hope I become world champion one day. That is my goal. Uh, but I will always be doing other things, you know, acting, running businesses, investing, creating content, making music, whatever it might be, I'll always be doing it. Uh, Jake Paul headlining, co-headlining at Madison Square Garden on August 6th. Tickets at MSG.com. Um, how different was it when you went from, like, the YouTuber dude to Nate Robinson? When you took the step up to MMA guys, to Askren and the Woodley fights, how different was it getting in there with professional fighters, even if not boxers? It was very intense, man, and it was a learning curve. I've been through the ringer. I've been through the ropes. I've... Uh, you know, sparred insanely tough guys. I've taken my licks, but that's how you get better. And that's how I got better is by showing up consistently day in and day out. And with each fight, I've just increased my level of opposition, um, increased my skill level, 
and continue to challenge myself like no other fighters in history have. No fighter is taking this big of a risk in their sixth fight ever. It's unprecedented what I'm doing. Well, the, the reason it's the reason it's really unprecedented, Jake. The reason I'll agree with you, and it's I don't I don't think it's just hyperbole, is because the amount of money you're commanding. And and if you lose to Hasim Rahman, if you look bad against Rahman and get outclassed by a boxer, how much do you think that'll affect your ability to earn money on these fights moving forward? Well, the beauty of it is I won't. And in fact, I'll be the one doing the outclassing, and my price will continue to go up after that. People think, oh, this is a professional boxer. You know, Hasim Rogman Jr. is going to knock him out. Okay. Well, first and foremost, if you think that, then watch the fight. <laughs> because if you want to see me get knocked out, this may be your opportunity. But what they're really going to see is someone who's been working nonstop, 24-7, who has dedicated his whole entire life to this for the past three years, is obsessed. Michael Jordan obsessed with becoming the greatest boxer in my weight class. And what they're going to see is me knock out the guy who's bigger than me, who has more experience than me, who has longer reach than me, who's taller than me, who has a hundred times more amateur fights than me. That's what people are going to see. Do you keep receipts, Jake? Are you remembering all the things that are said about you leading up to this moment as motivation? <laughs> Some of the things I remember, but... Um, I, you know, I don't care. People will always have everything to say. You know, when you're doing something at this level, there's always going to be critics, right? Drake, the greatest artist of our generation, drops his album recently, and people are hating on it. What is this? This is the worst album. It still goes number one. It still breaks a bunch of records. It still has the Billboard Hot 100 single out of it. But people are hating on it. So it's almost at a point in life where no matter how good I do, there's always going to be tons and tons of criticism just because of who I am.